Welcome back to our channel, guys. We're coming at you with another Bonfire Brew review. And uh, don't mind Dana. He is just putting a little bit more wood in the fire. Sorry, just tending the fire. See a gun behind us. It's <laughs> just, just in case. Um, so. so we're setting up for a Bonfire, bonfire Beer review. And uh, we heard some loud tracking in the forest behind our house. It was very loud and the, the track duration, every noise between each step sounded human. We still hear it actually. So Dana had me go grab the gun just so we have something because you, you just never know. We do have a bear problem up here so it could be a bear. He shot a few rounds up into the air just to spook anything. And if it's a human, letting them know like we have a gun. And if it's an animal, quite frankly, it's freaking us out. Messing up my beer review. So I will, I will start it as soon as uh, we feel comfortable. Dana's still building the fire anyway, but it's so quiet in this neighborhood. You can hear everything. Still walking behind the house. It's like you can hear limbs breaking, cracking, yeah. leaves and snow crunching. Way too loud for a, a deer. It could be a bear. A bear? That's a big ass animal. It sounds big. That's not good. Anyway, let's get into this review. Bond we are doing we are two, doing two different beers today. Um, I think what I'd like to do with this series is one Dana beer, one Eileen beer. So I have an IPA for him and I have a stout for me. Something that I would also like to do is to have the same brand. That way we can kind of tell you whether or not the brand is consistent. If you've never tried a certain type of beer from any given brewery, we give you a version of theirs of a stout and an IPA. It's a little bit more well-rounded with both sides of the spectrum. So today we are doing a brand new brewery to us. I've never tried anything from them. If you watched my beer haul, oh. <laughs> if you watched my beer haul that I posted the other day beer of me, uh -huh. no. So this brewery is called Grand Armory Brewing. I will pull up untapped when we open the taps on these guys and I'll give you some more information. But I have the Juicy IPA, which is called, called the Weezen the Juice. And I have the Nutter Your Business Peanut Butter Stout, which is supposed to be like a uh, Nutter Butter. So I'm very excited about that. This one actually has potential to be something Dana likes since he loves peanut butter. That's the one I dropped. Keep that in mind. <laughs> Alright, you can go first. Okay. Go ahead and give us a nose. Fruity, but sweet fruity, not tart fruity. Though. It's so citrus is one of the notes from the brewery. Yeah, I was so going to say like a... That you uh, say it's not really... Yeah, but it's not like a, a grapefruit. It's a very, very sweet. Okay, so this one is 6.5% ABV, 37 IBUs. Like I said, it's Grand Armory Brewing, and they are located... Oh, <laughs> I thought I thought for some reason I didn't think it was Michigan. This is Grand Haven. Oh, is it? Yeah, it's a brand new brewing. Grand okay. Haven, Michigan. Um, it's actually um, reviewed on Untapped by two of our other brew tubers out there. Brad Allison gave it a four, and Tyler Fink... I don't want to say your last name wrong. Tyler Fink... Beaner? Briner? How would you pronounce that? I don't want to pronounce it wrong. Uh, Tyler, please give me the phonetics on that. I don't know how to say that. Sorry, I'm really Tyler. sorry. I will link both of the channels below. Um, and he only gave it a 3.7. He said it was tropical, yep. great fruit, and great hot flavor. Brad said that he's drinking it now, and the re review will be out soon on YouTube. <laughs> so I guess I'll link that uh, that review of his down below as well. Um, and the overall, the average rating for this guy is a 3.9. All right, go I'm ahead, excited. go ahead and get into that. A juicy IPA for hugs, chillin', and grindage. Grindage. I, don't I hope they're talking about a sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. Sick I smell pineapple sick from one. here. Yeah. I smell pineapple from here. It's like um, that, that, that. It's like that is fruity. It does smell. That's fruity, fruity and it's supposed to be it's juicy. Like that, um, juicy IPA. Twisted Tropicana juice or something is what it reminds me of. Like grapefruit, pineapple type thing. Ooh, it's yeah. Really, it's got a kick to it. Yeah, it does. It's not bad. 
not bad at all. It's actually pretty good. It's refreshing. We've mentioned this a little bit. We've touched on this a little bit. Every beer will taste different depending on the vessel in which it's in and the glass that you pour it to. So if you drink it straight from the bottom of the can, so on and so forth, it's going to have a difference between those two things. If you're not an avid drinker or your palate, palate isn't very sensitive, you may not notice a difference at all and you're going to think we're crazy beer snobs, but there oh. is a difference. We prefer bottle over can. As far as tasting glass, um, if you have it poured, it will taste different. It hits your palate in different spots, which is why every glass is shaped differently. and has Every different bottle is shaped differently. As well, yes. Uh, another thing too, we have people who have reviewed it on here that are reviewing it directly at the brewery. That's going to make a big difference too. Yep. Freshness, this one could have been sitting on the shelf for a little bit. I tend to forget to check the expirations or notice whether or not something has aged, which does impact the, the the taste as well but so it tends to be pretty consistent across the board it's 3.8 from the can it is 3.8 from the bottle 3.8 from draft and 3.6 from people who have had it in a flight at the brewery i don't mind it it reminds me of what am i gonna say tropical torpedo yeah tropical torpedo if i like an ipa and it has any fruitiness at all it's automatically going to remind me of tropical torpedo because it's the first ipa that i liked it made me go, wow, maybe I should be a little more open-minded. Ooh, mine's a better rating than yours. That's not right. You did that on purpose. <laughs> I did not. I didn't talk with before I thought it. <laughs> okay, so this one, same brewery, like I said, it is Grand Armory. So far, they're doing pretty good based on that beer there. Enough so that I would seek out more beers from them. This is a milk stout, so it's going to be very sweet. It's going to be a little bit on the lighter side as well. It's only 5% ABV, and this does not have an IBU rated, um, which is pretty consistent with milk stouts. Not a lot of them will have uh, the so bitter units because they're typically yeah they're typically smooth. And it's very not to say that they don't have bitterness to them. Everyone will feel differently about a beer when they try it, but for stout lovers, milk stouts don't tend to be bitter at all which is 5,000 plus ratings. Oh, wow. Gives it a 3.9, nearly a four. That's pretty darn good. Everybody loves peanut butter. Seriously though. So I'm gonna go ahead and get a nose. The head has settled when I poured it. It was about a three finger head. Um, I dropped Dana's can, so we can't really tell you how good that head was supposed to be. But when we poured it, it was five fingers, so. Easily five yeah. fingers. I think there's more in my can. Probably. So this one says, built on a chocolatey milk stout base, the peanut butter makes this beer taste like your favorite proprietary cookie. If anyone asks why you'd want to, a beer that tastes like dessert, tell them it's none of your business. <laughs> Hilarious. That's clever. Hilarious. Okay, right. That's great. Ooh, that smells good. It smells very like roasted and nutty. Um, obviously, you get the peanut butter scent right away. It's supposed to be there. If it wasn't the first thing I thought of, then it wouldn't have been done very well. So it does smell like a nutter butter. I don't really smell any chocolatiness to it, which could be a good thing, could be a bad thing, not really sure. But they said it was a milk chocolate base, so I do expect to taste it, but I don't smell it. Oh my god, that's delicious! <laughs> That's like... Do we have a new Neapolitan? I was just about to say that, literally. I was about to say that this beer could hold hands with Neapolitan. They could go on a date. Wow, who's paying? I mean, I will pay. Let's go in Dutch. Yeah. <laughs> Put it on the charge. I'll go for it. This is delicious. You're going to like that. Sometimes, and you guys, if you watch us a lot, you know I hand him a stout, and I always say, you're going to hate this. Sometimes he proves me wrong, but he's going to like this beer. That is smooth and buttery and creamy. It is delicious. You don't like it. No. Wow. I taste the peanut butter. You I, don't like I, it? I do. I taste the, actually, it tastes like a powder pot. You're supposed to. So in that respect, it's good. I give it a four. Really? I give it a four. I mean. For sure. I try it again. A because, little sweet. No, try it again. Because you had just had a bunch of the IPA, which is bitter. And this is not better, so it's gonna taste like some of the IPA taste will carry over. It's good. I'm not saying it's not good. It's just not for me. Well, more for me. Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. Smash, Smash that bell. bell. Beat the crap out of that bell. Just 
Ugh. Yeah. Frustrations gone. <laughs> Leave us a comment. We love talking to you guys. Otherwise, have a good night. Cheers. Cheers.